this is perhaps the best devil's food cake you ever did taste. And it's really easy to make. We have some melted butter in our pan here. One and a half cups of unsalted butter, three sticks. You know, the devil uses up a lot of energy so he can eat as much butter and cream and sour cream as he wants to. And uh, two and a quarter cups of sugar, just melted in a double boiler or in a bowl over hot water on your stove. Add one egg at a time, and there are four all together. And let these just mix in. I love baking when I'm bad. I love wearing black gloves. Just mix that up and one tablespoon plus one teaspoon of the richest vanilla. And now, oh, don't forget to soften one and a quarter cups of richest dark cocoa in one and a quarter cups of hot water. And I'll see if I can do all of this without getting one thing on my black satin gloves. Mm -mm -mm. That's ready to go. And now sift the dry ingredients, three cups of all-purpose flour with one teaspoon of baking powder and one teaspoon of baking soda and one and a quarter teaspoons of salt. And these will be mixed right into the batter with some sour cream. Oh, this is so good. And we've buttered two cake pans. These are eight inch by two inch. Buttered, floured, and lined with parchment paper. That looks so perfect. Can you see how nice and thick the mixture is? It's a beautiful mixture. Now add your chocolate and a low speed, the cocoa. And this is a rich, rich, moist cake. And we have one cup of sour cream and all our dry ingredients. Put a little in. Mm, it's fun baking with gloves on. You should all try it. And sour cream. The sour cream gives this cake a moistness that is unachievable any other way. It's a very important ingredient. Don't try to cut it out. And just beat that up, not too much. You don't want to toughen the cake. The devil hates tough chocolate cake. There, that should be satisfactory. And divide the batter into the two different pans. Your oven, of course, is preheated to 350 degrees. In 45 to 50 minutes, you're going to have a most beautiful cake, a recipe that combines semi-sweet chocolate and cocoa powder for an extra rich chocolate frosting. We have in the mixer, we have exactly one cup of confectioner's sugar and a half a cup, excuse me, one cup of unsalted butter and a half a cup of confectioner's sugar. And we have the same little procedure to soften six tablespoons of dark cocoa with six tablespoons of warm water. Not too warm, just sort of room temperature warm. And one pound of semi-sweet chocolate. Use the best chocolate. If you're making it for the devil, he knows the difference between Valrona and something else. <laughs> So here we go with our lovely chocolate and add the softened cocoa. Beat until smooth. And really, this is a delectable, delectable frosting. We have some made over here. It is so glossy and smooth and fudgy. Let the chocolate icing stand for at least 20 to 30 minutes because you want it really just like that. Now here's our cake. This is how it comes out of the oven. It has this nice bulbous top, which is not what you want. So we have to cut that off and feed that to 
I don't know who, but somebody will get this. Just use a serrated knife and slice right across the top. Notice I'm protecting my gloves with a piece of parchment paper there. So that just makes it a little bit more useful. This is not to be thrown away. So dollop on some chocolate in the middle. This is an offset spatula, a requirement. And here's the top layer. See why we trim? And then spoon on the rest, slather it down the top, over the top and down the sides. And oh, what a great cake this is. Now if you're afraid of one layer sliding off the other, just use a bamboo skewer right through the middle. It'll hold it in place, no problem. And this cake gets better. It's better tomorrow and it's better the next day. Very nice, it doesn't have to be perfectly smooth. We don't actually want it to be perfectly smooth. And it's great to work on a lazy Susan like this. <laughs> so you just pull these out. See, Joey, look. Ah. You pull that out and all the mess is gone. It's on the paper and not on your pedestal. See? See how brilliant? All for the devil. All for the devil and all of you who enjoy a great devil's food cake. It's a bad thing.